Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at King the Phantom from Dynamite Entertainment. So stay tuned. So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Again. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. As I said, today we're taking a look at King the Phantom from Dynamite Entertainment. This is a four issue mini series which converges with Mandrake the Magician and Flash Gordon, and it meets up in King's Quest. So let's get started. Created by Lee Falk in February of 1936, the Phantom is the world's first superhero predating both Superman and Batman. The Phantom operates from the fictional African country of Bengala. The character of the Phantom is currently syndicated by King Features, which is why the series was referred to as King the Phantom and published by Dynamite Comics. The story takes place shortly after the end of King's Watch. In that story, Flash Gordon, the Phantom, and Mandrake the Magician join together to save the Earth from the evil of Ming the Merciless. Together, they are able to defend the Earth and ensure that it did not fall victim to Ming's rule. Although the war was won, it came with a heavy price. Not only does the internet no longer work, but Kit Walker, the Phantom, the last in a line of succession, gave his life to save the planet. He had no sons. He was the last Phantom. Or was he? As Mandrake the Magician stands side by side a priestess from the Bengala tribe watching Kit Walker's funeral pyre burns bright, he wonders aloud, for hundreds of years there has been a phantom, strange to ponder a world without him. But then, from deep inside the skull cave, a voice in the shadows draws near. Then don't. He told me there was a successor out there, one destined to wear the mask. I'm going to find that man. I owe him that. And until he's found, I'm going to ride in his place. It's Lothor, Mandrake's best friend and crime-fighting companion, prince of the Seven Nations and strongest man in the world. Lothor has taken up the mantle of the Phantom and now searches for the true Phantom successor, a descendant of the Walker line, a new ghost who walks. But what is the Phantom? Does anyone other than the true Phantom actually know? Guns, a skull ring, a skull cave, a purple costume. He keeps coming back to that. What is the Phantom? Christopher Walker became the first Phantom 400 years ago to eradicate piracy, greed, and cruelty. The 22nd Phantom gave his life for the same oath and it saved the world from the evil space emperor. But this story isn't about the previous Phantoms. The story is about Lothor Kiwabi, the man who has taken the mantle until he locates the 23rd Phantom. But while testing his gear, this hero in his own right comes upon a village that's being threatened by a group of mercenaries. One by one, Lothor takes all six out, just as the Phantom would have. And just as the true Phantom would do in this situation, he gives a ring to the leader of the village who fears the mercenaries might come back. The ring is the mark of the Phantom, but it's not a skull mark that he forces his enemies to wear as he punches them. No, this is the good mark, the mark which shows all who see it. This area, this person, these people are protected by the ghost who walks. Lothor is joined by Garan, a Bandar partner. His people have aided every phantom in the line, and the two of them are now on a quest. A quest not only to locate the 23rd phantom, but to also discover who's behind the attacks that have been sweeping across this land. The two of them pose as a crime boss by the name of King Guillotine from Tanzania, while Lothor takes on the disguise of loyal bodyguard. In Crime Haven, on the outskirts of Mawatan, the pair meet Arturo, 
and his vultures, the mercenaries who've been attacking the entire countryside. The duo claim to be able to help with his phantom problem. In a test of their character, he hands a gun to Lothor and tells him to shoot a girl he has prisoner. It was a, just a test. He stops him before he's able to. Lothor knows he will. The girl is Jen Harris. Come to find out from Mandrake the Magician, she's the walker they're searching for. Descended from the walker line, a reporter and friend of Flash Gordon's girlfriend, Dale Arden. Not much else is known about Jen though. It's unclear exactly how she's the last descendant of the Walker line. As she states, her last name is Harris and her mom's was Duncan. But as Lothor tells her, there's a lot of branches to a family tree and she's the closest thing they have to a Walker anymore. It takes some time, but Lothor, Garan and Mandrake all convince her she is who they say she is. And she takes up an alternate phantom costume, complete with a purple hoodie. Together, they manage to stop the mercenaries and discover the return of the Sings. Christopher Walker and the Bandar people created the phantom to combat greed, cruelty, and injustice. It was a legacy, one that endured for centuries, one Lothor could shepherd. But it's not that simple anymore. Maybe it never was. The Phantom is a living thing, always changing to meet the challenges it finds. He is Lothor Kiwabi, best friend to Mandrake the Magician, Prince of the Seven Nations, strongest man in the world. Jen Harris is a walker, and Goran is Bandar. Together, they are the Phantom. You can read more of their continuing story in the pages of Mandrake the Magician from King Features and Dynamite Comics, as well as in the pages of King's Quest. Flash Gordon, the Phantom, Mandrake the Magician, Prince Valiant, and Jungle Jim are going to die. Unless they act super heroic and defeat every flying space monster and evil laser-wielding foot soldier in the galaxy. So head out to your local comic book shop and pick up a copy of King's Quest and to read the entire story in King the Phantom by Dynamite Entertainment. You can also find both as well as King Mandrake the Magician, King Flash Gordon, and more on comicsology.com. I'm currently working on obtaining the full set and you should too because Dynamite has many great stories from the Phantom and Mandrake to Project Superpowers, the Lone Ranger, and the Green Hornet. Keep an eye on Dynamite. I foresee them stepping into the spotlight alongside Marvel and DC very soon. That's it for Come Again this week, guys. Next week, we're going to be taking a look at The Shadow Now by Dynamite Entertainment. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs>